What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be teaching this really cool exercise known as the muscle up. I'm going to be performing it on a straight bar, not rings. Let's go with a demonstration. Okay, so we're going to look at the prerequisites. The first one being toes to bar. Toes to bar is a really good core exercise. The toes to bar, what we want you to be able to achieve is keeping the arms as straight as you can. Be able to get your toes all the way up. On the way down, you need to keep your legs in front of the body. It's a really good core exercise and necessity for learning muscle ups. Next, we've got traditional dips. This is mainly important for the upper part of the muscle up. You need some good triceps, shoulder, and chest strength. You should be able to lower yourself down to your elbow joints at 90 degrees. Remember to drop your chest on the way down. Okay, the last prerequisite is pull-ups. You should be able to get your chest to touch the bar. Keep your legs slightly in front of the body in a more of a hollow body position. All the way up, all the way down. Like I said, you should be able to get 10 reps of these. Try and fully retract your shoulder blades. So that's the last prerequisite. We're now going to look at partial muscle-up exercises. First up, explosive knees to bar. When we're doing this, we want to try and explode our body up as high as we can using the momentum of our legs. As you can see, I bring my knees tight to my chest and try and get my chest as high as I can towards the bar. In slow motion, it looks like this. And as you can see, it's going to replicate the muscle up movement. Okay, the next motion is straight bar dips. You should be able to get quite a lot of these out if you want to be training for the muscle up. It's not too challenging of an exercise. Lower the body down so the lower chest touches the bar. When you're lowering yourself down as well, bend your hip joints to 90 degree and straighten the body on the way up. As you can see, it replicates that part of the muscle up. The top part. Okay, next up, we've got the high pulls. High pulls are very similar to a pull up. However, you need to pull yourself up as high as you can to the bar. Normally, people are happy getting the chin to the bar. On these, you really want to try and pull your chest or lower chest as high as you can to the bar. Here's the reason why when you're doing a muscle up, you really want to get your chest as high as you can above the bar. Next up, Russian dips. Very tough tricep exercise, tough on the shoulders as well, but in the test is if for learning muscle ups. This part is the hardest part of the muscle up as well, it's the transition. As you can see here, my elbow is the same height as my wrist, as seen on the muscle up. Last partial exercise, else pull ups. Even though this doesn't necessarily replicate the speed of the muscle up, it's a very good exercise for strengthening the lats, core, and hip flexors needed for the muscle up. We're now going to look at a full range of motion muscle up exercises. First up, negative muscle ups. It's probably the easiest one and the one what you'll start with when you're trying to do muscle ups. Just try and get a feel of a full range exercise. You just want to jump up, lower the chest down, and bring your body down as slow as you can around the bar. Just jump up, lower the chest, keep the elbows tight to the bar and your body, do a negative pull up. Awesome. So what we're going to look at next is jump muscle ups. The jump muscle up, you get the benefit of the negative muscle up as well. However, you're going to try and slowly kick yourself up with the momentum of your legs. When you're doing this, you want to keep your body directly underneath the bar and try your best to pull as hard as you can with the lats and use the legs as little as possible. Like I say, it's quite a good exercise for mastering the muscle up. Quite a lot of people like to use this. It's a lot easier on the lower bar like shown in this video as well. Next up, we've got banded negative muscle ups. So this can be quite a tricky exercise because you're going to need the high bar for this and the power to jump up above. When you're doing this exercise, it's really, really effective, mainly because you can learn how to work out the right movement pattern on the way down. You can learn the swing. And also, with the negative exercise, with the band assisted, you might be able to get your first muscle up starting in this position. It's very hard to get the first muscle up uh, from the bottom. It's much easier starting from a negative position at the top. Uh, what I'd recommend is starting off with a couple of bands. You can put, do a negative muscle up and try your best to pull up and get your first muscle up. Next up we've got the banded muscle ups. This one is harder because you're going to try and get your first muscle up starting at the bottom rather than at the top. It's important to create a little bit of a swing at the bottom 
create a little bit of momentum. Like I say, just try your best to pull your body up. If it's too hard, you can just add another band, like shown in the video, make it a little bit easier. Obviously, different bands represent different tensions. This is it. This is the road to the muscle up. One last thing to remember is please warm up. Muscle ups are a very demanding exercise on the wrists, elbows and shoulders. It takes a lot of time and practice to master this exercise. And if you don't warm up, it's going to be a long and rusty journey. Yeah, so make sure you spend about 5-10 minutes warming up before you start the muscle ups. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate any support you can give. Hope you have a great week. Take care people.